a lot going on here. We've got crocodiles, we've got hummingbirds, and we've got to collect all our bananas. So, <laughs> we can see we have our crocodiles turning, and then we want to step to the bananas. Now, here's the thing. A 180 turn is going to go all the way around. We don't want our bananas doing that. So, see how that, that's not giving us what we want. So, what we want our crocodiles doing is turning 90. Now, we still didn't get the bananas because I didn't put that in, but I know that the getting the monkey to the bananas piece works. It's important to remember testing part of your code is incredibly helpful. So what we need, and you're thinking about your sequence, we need the crocodiles to turn, and then we're going to need the monkey to step seven to the first banana, and we know the banana might not be there. So that's where we need to put our weight. So that's where our until condition goes. And because we're in the for loop for B and bananas, it's until near B, which also means it's gonna work for all of them. So we're just gonna add our weight. So sometimes people feel like this is a mystery knowing what code to put in here, but it all goes back to sequence, which is where you start in the beginning. What do I need to happen first? We need the crocodiles to turn. Then we need the monkey to get to the bananas. But the monkey needs to wait at each place for a banana before going to the next one. And so that's why we're putting them in. And that's sort of how you walk yourself through. Every coding problem starts with what needs to happen first the way we expect. 